G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So uh, season two has started and uh, I'm going to jump in and uh, see the first five battles of that. So um, we're in the Great League and I have been practicing Great League a bit. So as uh, you've seen some some previous videos, I have been trying out a few different teams. So um, with this being the first uh, set of five um, at level one, it's could be anything um so you're going to get a real variety here i imagine so it should be interesting so at the moment um i have no idea what to expect so the meta obviously will change a little bit in between um seasons so let's find out so i think i'm going to run with and this is i don't know whether this is a good team or not um shift tree galvantula and reggie steel um We'll see how we go. It's worth a try. Um, and at these low ranks, it's probably you can probably get away with a little bit more. So definitely the time to hone in your team is in these early stages. So I would recommend that. Um, try and bring in a team that uh, you can sort of practice with from the start. And then by the time you get up a little bit in level, you'll be starting to hit a bit more uh, difficult opponents and you'll... Uh, be used to your team a little bit more. So let's go with the shift tree. Let's see what we get. Um, so this is not ideal unless they have... What do they have? Ugh. So I'm going to actually switch this one out because Reggie Steel is not a good counter for this. So they're staying in, which is interesting. Um, I don't know what they're... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So maybe the way to go there is a focus blast because I think focus blast will do more damage. Um, but let's see what they do. Oh, so they've not shielded. So obviously super effective against the um, ice typing and resisted for water. So neutral damage from the flash cannon there. So it looks like their game's lagging. Um, possibly, let's see if it's theirs or mine. Um, it looks like it's their game that's lagging. Um, let's, well, yeah, so definitely lots and lots of lag. Um, there we go. So, yeah, it's definitely their game that's lagging, which is unfortunate for them. Um, and, a, well... Great way to start season two is uh, with a lag tastic game. So let's see what they do here. Um, so I mean, if they're lagging out, I might as well swap into um, the shift tree here. Throw the charge move and move on to whatever's next. So, yeah, lots and lots of lag. So, there we go. Shift tree doing some damage there. Just a bit of lag on the, uh, the charge move there for me as well. Um, so, it'd be good to just knock this one out because... Ugh, this is brutal. What? I thought the whole idea of delaying Season 2 was to get rid of this lag. Um, it's clearly not worked, but, I mean, that's fine. Um, let's see what's next to come out. An Electabuzz? It's an interesting choice. Um, so I'll just... Foul play. Um, foul play should get it fairly low, let's see. If it ever actually attacks. Yeah, so foul play does most of the damage there. So what I'll do is throw in the leaf blade. So I probably should have just fast move farm that down. Because this is now going to cause a whole lot of lag here. As it does. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And there it is. So that's game one after the lag fest. Um, hopefully, so that team, I'm just trying to think, wasn't too bad, so they could have caused me some trouble there, actually. Um, 
So had they switched into stun fisk, then and when I swapped into my Registeel, then that would have obviously um, caused a little bit of problem. But I mean that's fine. So uh, we'll jump into the next one. And hopefully we get a little bit better match. So we'll use the same party, even though that uh, from that first match wasn't the best. Um, we'll see what we get. So let's find out. So a bayonet on the lead is all right for me. Let's see what they do. So fully expecting them to switch, which they do. Um, so I don't have a good counter for this, actually. Um, so this is bad for me. Uh, let's see what happens here. So the f looks like the fire types are definitely the typing that uh, is no good for me um, because every single thing on my team is weak to fire. Um, so this is real bad. Um, it looks like... I'm going to have to do a whole lot of work with, um, so they shielded that up, which is good. Uh, so I should have gone one more and uh, gone the, uh, yeah, so I should have gone one more and gone the, oh wow, this is real bad. So I need to somehow sweep this team with um, Registeel. Uh, so fire type seems to definitely be my weakness. How I did not see that, I do not know. Um, let's try and f so attack extreme harshly fell, which is really good. Um, so I'm going to shield this up as well because I have to. Overheat's going to absolutely tear me apart. So I've used two overheats and I shielded both, which is fine. Attack harshly fell. Um, let's see what they've got. So it is um, a, a dark type, so the Focus Blast should be able to do a whole lot of damage here. Um, and it one-shots it, so happy days. And then I'm going to have to Flash Cannon here as well. Let's hope that does enough damage. Um, so one thing about the Ghosts is they're a bit squishy, so hopefully... Um, this lets me one-shot it, and it does. So uh, really lucky there um, to get away with that one. Um, yeah, they should not have shielded on the... Uh, well, I mean, they could shield. Um, and that's one of the advantages of being in level one. People don't necessarily play um, the perfect strategy. Um, as you can tell, my team's not perfect either. Um, very, very weak to the fire type. So I don't know whether that's something that I'm going to have to look at. And I think it is because um, they lead with a fire type and I'm in big, big trouble. So um, I'll play a few more rounds through. Hopefully uh, we'll... So I'm thinking switching out the Reggie Steel for a Azumarill could be the way to go, but I'm going to stick with this for now um, and we'll see how we progress. If we hit another fire type, um, I think I will make that change um, because at the moment I've not hit to any grass. I'm just trying to think, yeah, so no grass typing yet. Um, so it might be worth that uh, that swap. So this is grass and ice. Let's see if they're running an ice fast move. If they are, then it's time to change, and they definitely are. So I have to change into um, the Reggie Steel. Let's see what they do. So they've swapped as well into um, the bug. So that's an interesting one. So I don't know what they're plan is there um, because the bug moves are going to be resisted by steel so they've shielded that up uh, and that's one of the big things in these early ranks so this is probably a night slash I assume so dark type move now it's an aerial ace so that's okay even worse for them um, let's see might as well throw my 
uh, flash cannon here. I assume they'll just shield everything um, that I throw at them to begin with. Oh, they haven't, so no shield there, which is fine with me. Um, so I'm not going to shield either. Um, if it's another aerial ace, it's going to be doing no damage, and it is. Well, I say no damage, it still does do a little bit of damage. Um, and I'll just fast move farm that one down. Let's see what comes out now. Um, so it's a cloister. So for that one, I'm going to throw... Um, probably should have just thrown the focus blast, to be honest. I fully expect them to shield this one. Yeah. Um, so cloister will get a good matchup with... So I will shield this, I might as well. So I think what I'm going to do is swap out and save the... Uh... Oh, so I think my dis... Oh, wait, no, so it's there, fast move, so that's fine. Um, so I want to use, oh, Outrage, interesting. So I want to use Bug Buzz because it is a uh, a grass type. So that should be, well, is super effective. So I'll, uh, I'll throw that in there. Um, so that'll one shot it, happy days. Um, and then go to town on this Cloister, which got to its charge move before I did. So that's uh, uh, fine. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll just come out and I'll flash cannon this. It'll do neutral damage, which is fine. But uh, yeah, happy days. So I probably again should have. Um, I mean, it is either way. I was going to take it out. So the CP wasn't at fifteen hundred, so that's fine. Um, so obviously a new player, um, but they actually had a reasonable team there, running two ice types, which is interesting. Um, so, but their ice types were. Well, reasonable. Um, so I don't know why it's only let me do three battles there. I'll jump straight in. Um, I'm going to run the same team. So this team hasn't been as strong as I thought it would um, against sort of definitely not some of the meta. Um, it's been, yeah, struggling a little bit. Um, and the weakness, the real weakness I see so far is the um the fire so that fire was uh, was real bad um yeah let's see how we go so on the lead this is interesting so let's see what they do here so they'll probably stay in i imagine so they got one extra charge move there which is not ideal for me um so what so they're just gonna I am actually going to, and I got one back there on them. So um, I'm going to shield this up. Let's see. Ugh, it's just a dark pulse. That's frustrating, but that's fine. One, two, three, four they've got. Um, let's see if they throw into another dark pulse or they go for... So I think this time they're possibly going for... So I'm not going to shield this one up. And it's just the Dark Pulse, so that's fine. So I'm going to throw another one. And then jump into this. So let's tap, tap, tap. Um, so the Dark Pulse... I should be able to survive here. Um, I'm actually going to shield because, yeah, so bugger. It is the Dark Pulse, so that's fine. Um, so I want to go into... The reason I'm going into two shields here is because um, I do want to win switch advantage. Um, so fine with going into two shields. So for this one, I'm just going to uh, go for the... Uh, foul plays because they're going to do a reasonable amount of damage and I've uh, managed to get to the foul play and I should have thrown the leaf blade there but obviously I did not so uh, that's fine so I've gone a flash cannon and that's going to be enough to KO me um, 
So what I will do here is jump into the Galvantula. Um, so I do want to get a fast move off with this, um, which I can do. So that's going to do a huge amount of damage. Um, so the flash cannon isn't going to do much to me because it will be resisted because of the... Oh, and that's almost one shot it. And then one fast move farm down and it's not enough. Uh, so throwing that... Um, so that shouldn't KO, so it doesn't, and I will get to farm up. Um, so throwing the, not throwing the Leaf Blade really cost me there. So this is good for me if I can get to the charge move, which I definitely should be able to. Um, and they, so this is a more standard sort of meta team that they've uh, they've brought to the uh, brought to the table here. So this will be fine. Um, so I don't want them to chart to uh, farm me up here. So I'm just going to go straight into um, the Reggie Steel. Hopefully I caught the Ice Beam there. I did, so that's even better for me. They've just burnt their energy. Um, so the reason I did switch there is because I didn't want them farming up for my. Um, uh, well, farming for the Reggie Steel. Um, obviously, with a electric type, they're probably not going to farm, so no worries there. But happy day, swapped out, caught the uh, caught the ice beam, and then got to finish off with the flash cannon. So that was uh, that one was actually quite nice. Um, so let's jump straight into the next one and uh, see how we go. So that was a better better lineup for me um, against the Azumarill, Azumarill, against the Umbreon, um, it was running Dark Pulse, so it probably didn't have Last Resort, so I didn't necessarily need to shield both of them, um, I mean, it is what it is, so uh, let's jump into the last one, I need to get better at counting those moves, I think it's five moves to a, so four moves to a Dark Pulse, and five to a um, last, is it last resort, last resort, um, so, yeah, um, need to get better at counting those, uh, fast moves, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try for that in future, so, um, so the steel typing of, so this is steel and bug, so this is really not great for me, um, so at least it's not doing super effective damage here, um, so I will shield up its move. I don't know what it's going to be. It's charge move. Um, so steel and bug. Oh, so it did not want to shield that up, and it uh, took a real big hit there. So Moltres, uh, being a flying type, is absolutely tearing me a new one. Um, so it's still going to... So I'm going to shield this up, absolutely. Um, so... I'm just going to think I'm just going to have to fast move this down. Um, so I'm hoping that means its attack's going to harshly fall, which it is. So um, I'm just going to farm this down. Oh, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal on that. Um, um, so I think I'm going to shield this up because I've got a lot of energy here. Um, so X is, a, is not going to do much damage anyway, but... Uh, um, and now I need to start throwing these charge moves. I'm going to throw... Oh, so, I mean, not ideal. Neither of these moves are going to be great on the... Oof, no, neither of these moves are going to be great on the Zapdos. Um, so I'm just going to throw back to back here, burn their shield. So having two of the legendary birds is an interesting one. Um, so to be honest, I did actually think of that myself. Um, so... I Let's see. Um, so they're probably going to have to fast uh, charge move me down here. Oh, no. So the fast move farm me down. Um, so for this one, um, I think I'm going to go for the Reggie Steel. Um, I'm going to let them f charge move me, and then I'm going to swap into my uh, shift tree because I don't mind taking the, the hit on... Um, the uh, the Reggie Steel. I know it can tank one of those, um, but the Shift Tree is not going to be able to. So uh, I'll swap that out, and I don't want to uh, take that hit. And then that's good game. So uh, happy days. So even though the Shift Tree would have been resisting the electric damage, I just didn't want to take the chance of uh, getting the hit. And uh, obviously I knew that was what was going to win me the game. So those first five games, interesting games. Um, so a bit of meta stuff, a bit of off meta stuff. Um, 
Yeah, but that's what you're going to expect from the first set. So I did find out my uh, one of my, well my big big weakness, which is fire. So I had two people running the fire. So got lucky with the second one being a Moltres. So the steel uh, steel the flying typing of Moltres meant that I could get my um, Galvantula out there to do uh, a whole lot of damage. Um, yeah, so got lucky in that one. The first one was a real mess for me. So uh, f five of five. So uh, good way to start season two. Um, and let's see what our reward is. Of course, it's a metagross. It has to be, I think. Um, so I will throw a throw a pineapple on that to get me the 20 candy so we'll wait here throw for an excellent and completely miss it if you want to uh, see how to throw for excellence i'll link to a video now so it uh, shows um, a bit of strategy on um, how to improve excellent throws so really interesting video um, i mean i made it so i'm a bit biased but uh, give it a watch and uh, it'll really help particularly with raid bosses that's probably more what it's for um, so jump on have a look at that and uh, yeah so uh, that is let's see if this is actually any good 15 what 13 11 so no basically is the answer to that question because it also isn't going to have uh, medium ash which is the move you, you really really want um so let's see what that so obviously we're not going to get rating points here um so i'll claim my reward and that should get me to rank two so i'm now a big old rank two in season two 2500 stardust happy days so uh thanks very much for watching so that gives you an idea of the first battles you're going to face in go battle league so you will face like i did some off meta some meta and then some teams that are sort of somewhat meta but not at full cp um which is absolutely fine so it's some of these new battlers coming in um really looking to uh, to get an idea of what to do and uh, what teams to run and things like that so um definitely worth a watch um and uh, to take some ideas away for your teams especially in these early stages hone your teams in and uh, really lock them down for for these early ones and then hopefully later on when you hit some of the the meta that's uh, really on point um, you can uh, be in a situation that it doesn't really phase you too much you know who to switch to you know who to switch out of um, and things like that so um, that umbreon on the lead was a good one for me because uh, i have looked at that and to be honest that's um i haven't really got a hugely winning matchup for that so the only way i can beat that is by um shielding correctly um if they're running last resort that is um and then so i'll uh, you have to double shield and go to a shield disadvantage to then um, have them come into whatever their second thing is. Um, hopefully with the shift tree though, I can get away with that because it spams its fast moves so quickly. If they're coming into something that's at a disadvantage or even neutral, um, so one, the dark uh, dark pulse damage um, can does a lot and then the uh, leaf blade just does so much uh, well it's so spammy that hopefully it'll burn their second shield before they get a chance to um, finish me off uh, so they won't be able to farm up energy and uh, still have that shield advantage when my uh, new thing swaps in so um, that's the plan anyway uh, we'll have to see how that works in uh, in play as we hit more Umbreons because they are they are a popular choice. Lots of people are running them, so uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, that's it for my first five battles in season two. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it was useful. Um, I will uh, at the start link to some of my other Great League battles and link to a couple more now. Um, but thanks for watching. Hopefully, it was helpful. I will uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.